Do you have a big night tonight, Annie? I don't know, Lillian. Might be a big night. Might be a big mistake. What do you mean? Well, I did the asking. And in my book, that's a big chance. <laughs> Hi. I, I, um... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, uh... Uh, the, the people downstairs told me I could find you here, and I wanted to catch you before it was too late. I, I, I can't make it tonight. I, um, I have another date that I, that I can't really get out of. I, um, I, I just wanted to explain it no, to you. No, that's okay. Sorry. Really, really. I, it's, it's, a, it's okay. You better go. You don't want to be late. No, no, no. But, but the... I should have known. It's just too good to be true. blonde and bearded and handsome and I'm so glad you're having dinner with me. Do you actually think that I honestly care about Josh Lewis? Thank you. You can eat marbles. Thank you. All right. I am extremely happy to be here with you, Lillian, rather than that. I trust this will be suitable. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This waiter will be with you shortly. Okay. Um, <laughs> rather than that, what? Conceited jerk of... <laughs> Well, listen, I'm, I'm not going to ruin our evening by talking about men. We'll just say that on my list of pleasant dinner partners, you're way, way above any man. Are we now angry at the entire gender? Why not? I should just swear them off. Well, listen, why don't we order? What looks good? Calories be damned. Oh, that's great. Good spirit. Oh, we're going to have a great time this evening, Lillian. Where's the waiter? I don't believe it. What? Huh. What? Oh, the restaurants in this town. He has to bring his important date here. Oh, listen, listen. We can leave. Come no, on. No, we get no, no. I'm not going to let him chase me out of here. I, uh, I, I just kind of want to see who he's with. The new news gets. I think we really should go. Okay. Oh, oh no, no, no. I... Can you see her? Yes. No, she must be wanting to make a late entrance. Oh, dear. They're going to that sweet little table, you know, by the fireplace right near us. It's very romantic. Sorry, let me ask you. Let's okay. Can we find another yes, place before like you see me? Hi. 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 Hi, Lillian. What are you doing here? Well, we're having dinner. Thanks, room. Oh, okay. Josh, and you? Hi. Um, actually, I'm here for dinner myself. So, where's your date? Late? She's in the ladies' room, making herself beautiful. I see. <clears throat> you know, you could have told me that you were seeing somebody else. You're right, I could have, and I should have. Annie, um... There's another woman in my life, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you that before. Well, it would have been nice. Here she is. <laughs> I believe you know my daughter, Mara. countdown begins in L.A. This is your very last chance. Be afraid, Sheila. You're a walking threat to my marriage, my life, my future. Be very afraid. If someone talks, I go down. It's the ultimate showdown. I've got to stop her. Sheila, Lauren, together, trouble. Mara! Good evening, Annie. Oh, well, good evening, Mara. And I must say you look wonderful this evening. Thank you. So do you. Well, thank you. Your daughter is an angel, Josh. Yes, she is. <laughs> Shall we have a seat, my darling? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. And Mara, I hope you have a wonderful evening. <laughs> we will. Come on. Let me get your chair. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, yes. And from the way you look at him, I saw more than that. <sighs> so, Dad, do you want to invite Annie over? I know you like her. You know I like her? How do you know that? Let me know these things. Oh, 
<laughs> All right, well, listen to me, my wise child. I appreciate the fact that you would like to invite Annie over, but uh, I think tonight should be our night. After all, it's not every day that my little girl wins the citywide spelling bee. So I don't want to share you with anyone. What are we looking at the menus? Okay. Well, that's uh, some competition you have there. Oh, yeah. It amazes me how someone like you can be so insecure. Right? Well, I mean, you are so together and pretty and so young and every single man at the hospital they fall apart the no. minute you walk into the room no they don't oh believe me they do what about you lillian you're not a slouch yourself oh, i've had my share of fun what do you mean hand you're talking like it's in the past lillian you are a beautiful intelligent creative woman who wields a lot of authority everybody loves you Oh, Annie, it's just sometimes you get very lonely on a Saturday night, you know? You have no idea what it's like to look in the mirror and see your mother reflected there. Not that my mother wasn't a fabulous-looking woman. She really was. Well, Josh is a good man, isn't he? I'm sorry. Oh. It's just my mind is somewhere else. Don't be silly. I can certainly understand why. He's a he's a dream father. Sure is. All right, Roger. I <laughs> How was dinner, Mara? Super. You know, the key to having a successful evening is picking the right partner. I got the best. <laughs> you sure do. Mara, I've got an idea. Why don't you and I go to that maitre d' and get a menu? Maybe we can have a have a, a souvenir of the special evening you have with your daddy. Yes. <laughs> okay. You better watch that maitre d' who's asking about you before. They all do. <laughs> I want to apologize for making plans with you and then having to break them. I tried to explain. No, uh, I was being a jerk. Well, um... No. No. <laughs> I want to make it up to you. I'll hold you to that, Josh Lewis. 